What's up, Alternerds? We know you like free stuff, and free stuff we have to celebrate the end of one year of Alternate Reality making YouTube content and the release of Epic Games Battle Breakers. We are having our first ever giveaway. For instructions, make sure you check out the description below, and we have a full list of what to do at the end of this video, so make sure you hang out to the end. What is up everyone, it is Chewburger84 here from Alternate Reality, and we are back again with some mobile gaming content. Now this particular video is sponsored by Epic Games, I'm sure you know that name, they're the reason that your kids have spent the last two years trying to learn how to floss, made a tiny little game called Fortnite, which I guess is doing okay for them. But they haven't stopped there ladies and gentlemen, they have released their brand new mobile game which is called Battle Breakers. Now I say mobile game because it is available on iOS and also Android right now, it was released in November. But you can also transfer your progress to PC as well. So if you log off your PC, it'll be still available on your phone and vice versa. And if you have a look down the bottom, there is a code for this brand new game. If you want to download it and test it out for yourself on your PC or your uh, Apple or Android. If you use our code, that will definitely help us on this channel. So please use the code ALTERNERD with any time you buy something from the Epic Store. And that'll help this channel grow a little bit more. Now what is this game? It looks and feels like something ripped straight out of my youth from Saturday morning cartoons. We're talking about a soundtrack that's like a remix of all my old favorite anime smashed together in one guitar solo filled package. It's got a theme and a design that feels like it's a cross between sort of high fantasy, futuristic anime, and has an absolutely massive character roster. So I'm sure between the different play modes, the campaigns, the different stores, and especially just the wide variety of tunes in this game, I'm sure you're going to find someone that you'll fall absolutely in love with the same way that I have. In my case, that's right, Melody, you know I'm talking about you. Alright, let's talk about this game. Now, like many other hero collector games, as you progress through this game, you're going to go through different campaigns, different dungeons, you're going to earn character shards, experience, and materials that are going to allow you, your team, and your heroes to become more powerful. Now, the game itself will change as you get more powerful bosses. You're going to travel through different landscapes, from ash wastelands with volcanoes right through to arctic tundras. And as of the posting of this video, there is over 1,000 different campaign missions, as well as daily to monthly events and dungeons, with more of them becoming more difficult and more exciting as you get towards the end game. Okay, so it goes well in excess of level 100, so there's plenty to do as of right now. But the really surprising thing with a game that's only been out for a month, and I do know that was in development for a long time, is the sheer volume of characters. Because not only do they have some insanely fun looking designs, but the kits are all very different for the characters as well. Meaning that the potential for theory crafting and building different synergies to sort of counteract different bosses is very exciting for me. So it gives you a lot of different ways that you can tackle this game, especially once you come up against some of the larger scale bosses that the game throws at you as you get here towards the end game. But why don't we move on to what you, all of you really came here for, which is to have a look at the gameplay and how the different mechanisms and mechanics of this game actually work. Now in each fight in Battle Breakers, you're going to select five different characters for your base team, with one of them being assigned the commander slot. Now the commander is going to provide a team-wide bonus to your entire squad. These bonuses can range from extra damage to healing or providing additional attacks to team members who are of the same type as that commander. I had a really fun battle last night where uh, the commander that I was using summoned some giant teddy bears that absolutely annihilated the enemy with add-on fire damage. It was a heck of a lot of fun. Now some nodes are actually going to allow you to use a second commander which you can either pick from your team or in certain game modes, you can actually go through your friends list, where you can find a good buddy like Chewburger84 who's been playing the game for a while, and you can borrow some of our more powerful characters, which will really help some of those missions with the big, big, big bosses to absolutely smash your way and keep progressing through this game. Now, just in case you thought your team and two commanders was not enough, we also have some adorable little pets in this game. Now on the side of the screen you'll see a pet meter, and as the battle goes on, the pet meter will fill from tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, 
and when you are ready to bring in some of those pets, they get more powerful as you go up through those tiers, you can bring them into the fight. Now, some of these are ridiculously adorable cuddle pets, little furries. Uh, some of them are just absolute rock star, you know, mech warrior type things that look cool. So they add a fun flavor to the combat, but they can really shift the balance of battle as well. You know, some of them are giant meat shields to absorb damage. Some of them are there to provide extra DPS, resurrections, healing. There's a lot of different layers to combat in this game that provide a lot more depth than a lot of these gacha games normally do. Now this game uses a scissors paper rock style of game balance during each match with different elements being more powerful against some and weak against others. That's not exactly new to these types of games. Fire beats nature, nature beats water for example. But unlike other games of this type, the elemental bonus system has a lot more depth and that gives you a lot more potential for strategy thanks to the crystal system that they have on each of the game's maps. Because when you start a match, the crystals are all great. But as you start clicking on them, they will start to get different colors. And those colors will be the same as the different heroes that you have based on the different types of fire, nature, water, light, and dark. Now, when an enemy is revealed, the gems on the map, if they're the same color as your hero, you are going to get yet another damage advantage because your characters are sharing that bonus from the crystals. However, if the enemy has that same color, they're actually getting the bonuses back against you. So you really have to be paying attention as to what's happening on the battlefield in front of you. Now, if you have the color advantage, you are also recovering health uh, with the more gems that you click through of the same color. You're recovering mana and also, again, increases that damage like we just spoke about. So manipulating that game board is actually a big part of what is going to make you successful in this game. Now, just when you thought the elemental system could not be more, I guess, deep, you'll see that you can actually further increase your advantage with some of the characters because some of them can lay down an area of effect of element. So, for example, you might lay down a big area of fire, a big area of water, and any of your enemies that are underneath that are going to take even more damage if they are weak to that particular type. And if your guys are standing on it, they get some bonuses as well. So there is a really a lot to do with this scissors paper rock system that adds a lot more layers than a lot of other games like this. Now on top of the elemental advantage system we also have each hero with their own set of different skills and their different attacks and abilities are set up under different uh, titles. So we have basic attacks which on your phone will just be a tap, on your computer will be a left click. There's a special attacks which cost mana, that's a right click on your computer or a swipe up on your phones and then we also have the passive abilities for each character as well now with those you don't have to do anything but as certain conditions are met during the game they'll be adding different bonuses now some characters have things called reflex actions so randomly during battle from sometimes you'll see these triggered and you click on them as they pop and this may mean that your character can deal a critical hit they can attack again evade incoming attacks or even jump in to take a hit for a weaker character so some of the characters that have the tank role, they're actually able to do that for you. And that can really be the make or break as to whether or not one of your key characters dies or not. And the positioning of these characters is very important too while we're talking about it. Because the heroes that are placed in front, they protect the characters behind them. So if you have a frontline character still alive, the backline characters can't be touched until they die unless they're using area of effect damage. Now, if you combine all these systems together, there is really a wide variety of different character types as well. So we have assassins, we have clerics who heal, ninjas who can bypass a lot of protection mechanisms. The game really does have a lot of different strategies to allow you to win uh, in so many different ways. But if you don't want to go through all this theory crafting, if it's not the fun thing that you're here for, you just want to see those shiny crystals just explode one after the other. One thing that this game does very well is allowing you to have a much more casual auto experience. So when you go into a mode and it asks you to select a mission, there'll be a button below it that gives you the team builder. And that team builder is going to recommend for you the best five characters for that match. It might say, hey, you're up against nature here, you want to take in three five characters, let's get this done. So it's surprisingly accurate as well. I've been really impressed that a lot of the characters that I would manually select the computer and the AI does a pretty good job of recommending those same things. And just in case you hadn't put the right resources in yet, once you've selected that automatic team builder team, it's then going to say, hey, you might want to put in the uh, experience points, the elixirs, the level up items to make sure that this team is powerful enough 
to take down this particular game mode. So I think this works really, really well. Now, they also have an automatic clear mode. So that means if you don't want to sit there and click every button for yourself, you're confident that your team is strong enough and they're sexy enough, you push that button and the game will basically run itself. So let's say that you're pretending to work, you can push that button and it will continue to run the game through for you. And then that way you can just check in on it from time to time and you can still be progressing even when you're away from your phone or computer. You know, let's say that you're at home and you're watching, let's say, some of our wonderful podcasts on alternatereality.com. You can alt tab, you can be watching those, listening to those and still winning at this game in the background. Now, me personally, I'm one of those guys that loves doing the theory crafting and min maxing myself, so I play it manual most of the time. But there have been a couple of days while I've been at work and it's been very busy that just being able to select that option and put it back in my pocket has been really, really cool. Now, we spoke earlier about the campaign, which is only really one part of what you can do with all these heroes in Battle Breakers. Um, but there is a ton of accessible content as of right now. And I only saw a patch coming up in the next couple of days where there's going to be even more coming into the late game very soon. Now, from trials, which scale to your characters so that you can't completely over-level them, you actually have to be able to think about those game modes, which give you a great way to test yourself and earn experience. We have the Skybreaker Scout Ship. Now, this basically, as you collect shards over the time, you're going to be able to find and unlock different characters, normally three at a time, and you have to pick which one of those is going to be the best one for you. You'll also find hammers, which you can hammer your way through different chests, which are going to give you anything from new and more powerful heroes right through to currency and also different resources that allow you to keep on upgrading your characters and your buildings over time. There are also daily, weekly and monthly events uh, which have unique challenges and to make sure that you have a way to keep progressing with those favorite heroes. Now the battle pass system is also there that they have in Fortnite as well. So if you do want to get a little bit faster progression, each month they'll have a new character that you can get for free at the start and usually the end of the month. You'll get daily rewards for every day that you log in as part of that battle pass as well. Again, very similar to Fortnite for those people that want to do a little bit faster. And the good thing about this is that they are microtransactions. A lot of mobile games now, you're not getting anything for under, you know, $100 for these crazy packs. Things are really getting out of control. But in this game, the pricing on this seems very reasonable so far. And at the moment, I don't really have a problem with that model, especially because you know exactly what you're getting when you buy it. We're not relying on big RNG dice rolls. Uh, we don't see any major paywalls that really stop you in your tracks. Yes, you can progress faster with this, but the thing that I love almost the most outside of the gameplay is that this is probably the first mobile game I've played in about a year where it's been so refreshing to see that everything isn't just locked behind a paywall. You don't just feel like, oh, my game has just come to a screeching halt now unless I whip out my wallet. So... Yeah, there are definitely some things that look incredible in this game uh, that are worth your money if you do really uh, find that you're loving it. So yeah, I really enjoy the way they've monetized this game and it doesn't feel too oppressive. So that, ladies and gents, is pretty much our summary of Battle Breakers at this time. So final thoughts. Overall, it feels like a really refreshing take on the gotcha collector game genre because you got that combination of that gem smashing mobile game uh, with turn-based strategy depth that you used to see in a lot of turn-based strategy games on PC, probably in the, let's say, late 90s, early 2000s, which was my jam. I used to love this style of game. The soundtrack means you'll be singing Go Go Battle Breakers uh, to people on the bus with you. But my favorite things about this game are definitely how deep you can go with the strategic setups of the teams if you want to and the positioning, all those things come into play. But also the fact that it's very balanced between free to play and pay to win in the sense that it doesn't feel so oppressive with paywalls. Normally when we review mobile games these days, if they have really random, random number generator dependent loot box systems, we rate them down very, very hard. And I think this game does a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job of really trying to make this something that's a really fun game to play. And it's something that I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy without having to worry about being stunned by those microtransactions. You know, if you do download this game and you feel like you love it, it's something you wanna go into, there's plenty of little items that you can purchase for yourself to get a little bit further or get that hero that you really, really want. But the good thing is if you play for long enough, you'll probably end up getting those characters anyway. So we played a few different games recently, but I do have to say that there is two of us at Alternate Reality that are still playing this game, even after we finished doing our video content for it. 
Uh, so again, this was a sponsored video, so thanks again to Epic Games for sponsoring it. Now let us know in the comments below, did you like this game after you tried it? What do you think uh, is the best parts about it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. This has been Chewburger84 from Ultima Reality, and until next time, cheers. Congratulations! By making it to the end of this video, you have unlocked Competition Mode. If you'd like a chance of winning that $100 gift card, which is a great way to start off 2020, here's what you got to do. Try out the Battle Breakers game by using our download link in the video description. And when you do, make sure you use that content creator called Alternerd. For a startup like us, something like that is very, very valuable and helps us get opportunities like this again in the future. Then all you got to do is beat any boss node in the game. These happen very, very early. You can get it done inside as little as 20 minutes. And then snap a screenshot of your victory screen and upload it to us at alternatereality.com forward slash battle breakers. Now, if you are someone who really enjoys the game, we don't want to hold you back. We want to give you even more chances at winning. If you decide you want to keep on playing and beating more and more bosses, all the bosses that you upload, you can have another chance at winning that prize. That's right, folks. You can enter multiple times to increase your chances at getting that $100 gift card. So good luck out there. I'm sure you're going to have fun in Battle Breakers. Make sure you turn that soundtrack way up, and we'll talk to you soon.